Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome or welcome back to my little corner of the interwebs. I'm Jamila and I'm a huge luxury and indie beauty lover, but honestly, I don't believe in paying full price for makeup. So here in my little corner of the world, I try to do my best to share sort of tips, best practices, everything that you need to know to get luxury and high-end products on the cheap <laughs> so that you can save some of the most money possible. If that sounds like your cup of tea, what tickles your pickle, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss content from me. All right, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. As you probably saw from the title and the thumbnail, it's a swatch party, baby. And that's because this came, I think at least two or three of you guys have said, could you please swatch your Fantasy Cosmetica eyeshadow palettes? And I'm like, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. And I know it took me a minute and a half, but we are here today and I'm gonna swatch all of my Fantasy Cosmetica eyeshadow palettes for you guys. And I'm doing this also because the Fantasy Cosmetica Black Friday sale is coming up very soon. It will start November 19th, so you guys will have a couple of days to shop, but I wanna make sure that you have all of the details that you need so you can get all of the palettes that you want without the possibility of things selling out. I know how important it is to have swatches on deeper skin tones, and I really try to make sure that my platform is a bit of a resource, especially if you're around my skin tone. I'm a medium deep complexion. I have a yellow golden undertone. Right now, I am sitting in my bedroom, and I'm gonna swatch this. There's no artificial lighting. This is just Jesus' sunlight coming through the windows. So I have six palettes, which is the entire Fantasy Cosmetica catalog. They, um... I am also, just for a disclaimer, I am also an affiliate with the brand, so that means that if you do shop and you use my affiliate code, which is just Jamila, you will save 10% off of your purchase, and I will get a small commission from you shopping. You definitely don't have to do it if you're not comfortable with it. All of the money goes back into buying more makeup to use on this channel, so it definitely does help the channel if you shop through affiliates, and it's a great way to support your favorite creators. So, like I said, I have all six of the palettes, of the six, I have only purchased one. This, the Druid palette, I purchased on my own. The other five were given to me in PR by the brand, and I'm very, very grateful that they sent it my way. I do have reviews or first impressions videos on every single one of these, if I'm not mistaken. So if you wanna see like a full in-depth swatch or um, tutorial, definitely check out my catalog of videos to see which of these I've been using. And lastly, I'm not gonna be ranking these. I will do a separate rankings video because I wanna do a lot of rankings in my December just to wrap up the year. So at the end of the year, I will do rankings of different brands so you guys can see how I feel about them. But that's not gonna be this video. This video is literally me just drinking some coffee and swatching these eyeshadow palettes for you guys so you can see how they perform on my skin tone. Okay. And I think the last thing that I do want to flag is that because I got a lot of these back when they first released, the brand has since redesigned some of the covers for some of, and some of the artwork for some of these palettes. So they might look slightly different on the website, but it's the same palette. It's just they, they've been doing a lot to improve their designs and, and just making it a much like cuter palette, in my opinion. These are all nine pans, so I think that's it. Let's go ahead and dive into these swatches. Okay, now this is going to be in no particular order, so... I'm just grabbing from whatever is in the pile and we're just gonna go down. So I will also try to include some timestamps so you can find the palette that you're most interested in to see what the live swatches are like. So first up, we have the Druid eyeshadow palette. Now this is one that I can actually tell you with certainty that they did redesign. There were a couple of complaints about the packaging because if you look really, really closely, you can see that there are words here. And you know, part of the issue is that the packaging is really dark. The writing on the packaging is equally dark, which makes it just very hard to see. And I had LASIK and I can't see it. So they tried to make the writing a lot brighter so that you can actually distinguish what's being said. And this is the Druid palette. And I think I picked this one out first because honestly, this is what started it all for me. I saw this color story and I was like, I don't know who this brand is, but I want it. <laughs> so we're gonna dive into Druid first. I'm just gonna go row by row for all of these swatches. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we have these first three shades. And one interesting thing about the Fantasy Cosmetica palettes is that some of them are pigments, some of them are gonna be eyeshadows. So you're just gonna need to be careful in terms of if you have sensitivities and you need to know or be able to distinguish if it is a pigment or if it's an eyeshadow. So first up we have Root, Balance, and Forest. 
super pretty. And I'm pretty sure that this one is an eyeshadow palette, not a pigment palette. Yep, eyeshadow palette. So, and you'll notice the difference between eyeshadows and pigments is that pigments tend to swatch a little bit brighter, eyeshadow tends to swatch a little bit patchier. And it doesn't mean that it's gonna perform terribly, it's just, you know, swatches can give you only a little piece of the picture. There we have the next three shades. We have Bare Form, Serenity, and Sage. Yeah, Sage is a little hard to see that green. Let me add a little bit more. Those are always weird shades on my complexion. But, ooh, these are so pretty. And then the last three shades. This is probably one of the most common multi-chromes, but it's still a really, really pretty one. Transformation, regrowth, and old growth. So pretty. You see how shiny and like, just, that is epic. This is still one of my favorite releases from the brand till this day. And if you love greens, you will absolutely love this palette. One of the things that I rave about when it comes to Fantasy Cosmetica is how versatile, come on now, I need you to bring it back down, how versatile the palettes are. When it comes to nine pan eyeshadow palettes, a lot of times it can be really hard to create something that isn't just monochromatic or dual chromatic. And I think that they do a really, really good job at that where you can get multiple different looks from a single palette. Like you have the green, you have this multi-chrome, you have a peachy shade. Like this is, you know, still green, but with a little bit of silvery kind of twist to it. I think the one downside that most of us found to this palette was that these two brown shades are actually quite similar and they could have benefited from a probably slightly lighter brown because these two, very, very similar. This one just has a more red undertone and this one is more of a true brown, almost neutral undertone. But Druid palette, man. That one is a hit. That one is still one of my absolute favorites and definitely worth checking out if you were looking into the brand. Next up, we have the Sorcerer palette. This one is a pigment palette and you see it tells you on the back if it's pigments or eyeshadows. So you'll see a very drastic difference when I swatch this one in terms of how bright and vibrant the matte shades are. And look at this baby, you guys. Like, night and day from Druid, right? <laughs> This is for the color lover. This is for the person that didn't, it doesn't care to have neutrals because you're not getting any in this. There's zero chance of you getting a neutral shade in this. And probably one of the least versatile from the brand because it is very pink and blue heavy, so almost pretty dual chromatic compared to some of the other ones. So let's go ahead and dive into the first three shades. That blue, man. Do you see this matte blue, y'all? Y'all don't play with me, don't play. And I'm just gonna swatch on the back of my hand at this time. We have Firestorm, Innate, and Wild Magic. Yep, just so pretty. Next up we have the second row of shades. And I will say that the shimmers in this palette are definitely creamier than some of the other ones. And you can see it from the indentations when you swatch them, but they have a much, much creamier texture and consistency. So we have Unleashed, pretty vibrant pink there, Archaic, Arcane, sorry, and Polymorph. Oh my God, Polymorph is so pretty. And also a little bit chunky. Like this is definitely one of those shades. If you have creamy lids, it's gonna like it's gonna crease on you. If you have an issue with um, texture, these are definitely a chunkier texture. Like you can see the different particles much easier here. I think compared to some of the smoother ones. And when you look at the palette itself, like you can see the different textures. Like these two, th almost three shades. Uh, definitely creamier. You can see bigger particles. This is this shimmer is definitely a little bit more um, refined and more um, smaller particles. So let's get into the last three shades. Yeah, and these are definitely drier. You can even tell from the way 
in which they look on the finger but look at this so first up we have chaos it's a much smoother shimmer then we have the last matte which is Impala and the last shimmer illusion so pretty so pretty you guys so here we have sorcerer and druid druid's still my favorite but this is such such a pretty palette especially if you love that blue pink teal look and there's definitely some purple in this so i would say it's it's pretty it's not as monochromatic as I, I said initially, but it it still leans in that pink, purple, blue family, and that's pretty much it. Next up, we have the Bard palette. This is another pigment palette, and all of the details, including the ingredients, are on the back. And da -da -da -da. oh my god, this one is. So I forgot about this. I don't know why I forgot about this one, but this one is so pretty. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Funny story, I actually have the Bod fragrance. So if you didn't know Fantasy Cosmetica, they have like a little bit into their eyeshadow journey or their branded journey, they started developing matching um, fragrances or perfumes for each of the eyeshadow palettes that they release. So I just got this sent to me in PR actually. This is the Bod fragrance. And look at that, look at that. It literally matches the packaging as well as the color story for the palette. Oh, and it smells so good. If you get nothing else from Fantasy Cosmetica, please, please try a fragrance. Either Lost Collect, Lost Library or Warlock or Druid. I love them all, except for that chocolate one because I just don't like the smell of chocolate. Anyways, let's dive into Bod. This one, I'm remembering now, I really liked this one because contrary to like how bright and vibrant this is, you actually get some pretty decent, tame, neutral looking looks. Like look at this shimmer right here. It's a really beautiful kind of everyday shimmer. I'm, I'm remembering now that I've like settled into it a little bit. So we have Performance, this yellow matte, Charismatic, which again, really nice everyday shimmer and Enraptia orange shade let me do another swatchy swatch of that orange and i love an, a good orange eyeshadow that is so pretty next up we have the middle row which th we have three shimmers in this row that gold ah, i just want to like swipe it over my lids but you know gold orange that's who i am as a human being Y'all, okay, so we have Lore, Chef's Kiss, Legend, and Mythic. Do you see? Oh my goodness. Again, I'm not ranking these eyeshadows, but I forgot how dope Bard was. Damn. And then we have the last three shades. Very different from the, the other ones. And that's the thing about Fantasy Cosmetica that I talk about is that you get so much versatility in a nine pan eyeshadow palette, which is what I like admire so much about them. So we have Inspiration, Wanderer, Again, a really nice everyday shade for me, in my opinion. And stories. This is so beautiful. Like, this Bard palette, which is this little section right here. So beautiful. I, I die. Um, and I feel like you have a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue. This is kind of blue-green. Then you have the gold-orange. And this is giving both neutral everyday friendly not as crazy but with some color so i really really like this one so again we have druid um sorcerer and bod 
Okay. Now the question is, do I wipe this off or am I skilled enough to swatch? Yeah, we can make it work. We, we, we're, we're moving to the next hand and I am not ambidextrous, but we're gonna make it work because I wanna keep all of it on my hand so you guys can see every single shade all together when I'm done. Okay, so next up, we're gonna go into the Rogue eyeshadow palette. This is also a pigment palette. I feel like they moved away from eyeshadow after probably Druid, clearly, because Druid is the only one that says eyeshadow. So this is a pigment palette, according to the brand. Um, and like this color story just gets me every single time. It's so darn pretty. This is just my color story, you guys. Um, so. I might be a little bit slower on this end because I am not a lefty, but I'm trying to do it with my left hand. Damn, and I went in the wrong direction already. <laughs> so, I swatched in the wrong direction, but we're just gonna keep going. We have Sneak Attack. Light of Hand. And Trickster. Oh, this is pretty. These are some big particles though. Definitely a lot more textured and a lot more fallouty than the other brand. This actually reminds me of the shade in the Druid palette, kind of. This one right here. Okay, I'm trying my best. These, these yeah, they're very, very similar. I don't think they're the exact same, but they are very similar, these two. You see the ones that are matching up, right? And this is why I wanted to keep all of the palettes um, in on my hand. So we're gonna go into the second row, which So we have Shadows, which is a matte. Stealth, another matte, and Deception. Ooh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm trying to see if there's anything similar to it on the sun. This one might be similar in here from the Bard. So, I'm sorry, I think that's the, no, that's the Sorcerer. But definitely different texture and different base. Okay, and then we're down to the last three shades. We have this black, this blue, and this really pretty purple. So we have Assassin, which is the black, Cunning, and Subtle. Okay, and these matte shades seem to be really densely packed in mine. Like, they're not picking up very well on my finger. I'm trying to build them up. I want y'all to get the true pigment. This is the black again. Definitely not the blackest black. Not the worst black either. And I don't mind if blacks aren't too black because if you are a beginner when it comes to eyeshadow, black eyeshadow can be very, very intimidating because you know, most people will use black to either create like a eyeshadow eyeliner or to deepen up other shades. And if you go too heavy handed or if it's too pigmented, it can go left really, really quick. Like it took me a minute to be comfortable using blacks to deepen up other shades and it took me a little bit of practice too. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so we're going to the Fighter palette. This is the second to last new release and one that I 
fell in love with because the brand describes this as their neutral palette in their lineup. And when you look at it, you see it really is a neutral palette. Like we've gone through all of the other palettes and clearly from these swatches, it's giving color. It's giving colorful, color lover, which not everybody is. And quite frankly, we all need a neutral eyeshadow palette in our collection. So the brand gave us the Fighter palette and this has to be probably one of my absolute favorites as well because at the end of the day, I am a boring neutral ghoulie at heart and I can't say no to a good basic neutral palette. But they didn't give us basic neutrals. This is like elevated neutrals. And this one I enjoyed so much more than I don't, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was so much fun to play with. So the first shade we have is Valor, which is kind of like a beige. Honestly, it's a good transition shade. It's not gonna show up very strong, but I really, really loved it. Glory and Cavalier, which is a nice silver or gray, I should say. I really liked this palette, especially all of the grays that they threw in there because usually when I think of um, neutrals, it's like browns, but they said, no, 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 no. We're not giving you just browns. We're gonna give you warm and cool tones because if you look at this really closely, you'll see that there's like the silver row, there's like the warm row, and then there's a little bit of mix, and they threw in a purple. Like, come on, the versatility, you guys. Versatility. So you get four mattes in this, and then um, the rest are shimmers, but I think the mattes that they chose were really, really nice. So then next up you have Blade. Beautiful silvery blue shade, which I like that it's a blue-based silver because Sometimes the very, very icy silvers can look really bad in my complexion, but this, this works on dark skin with golden undertones. We have Fuva. Yes. And Victory. Again, perfect for neutral lovers, the best everyday palette. Oh, I loved this one so much. I remember wearing it to this little coffee shop and they were like, that is so pretty. And I was like, right, thank you. Okay, and then the last row of the palette, we have two deep mattes and one deep purple leaning shimmer. So here we go, last row. Like, look, look at that, the depth, the pigment, okay. So we have Warrior. Might and Marshall. Ooh, that's pretty. So here we have the Fighter palette. There's a little cross contamination going on there, but nothing too terrible. Again, really, really beautiful neutral leaning palette, but it's like neutral with a little something extra, with a little spice, some cayenne, you know, some hot sauce. It is not just a basic neutral palette. And like I said, I love that they chose blue-based uh, sh silver shimmers, which would look good on more warm skin tones. And then you have, like uh, again, versatility, where you have the kind of like warm orangey neutral shade. You have a little bit of reddish, more coppery neutral. You have purple, and then you have the silver, and all of the mattes match. And one thing that you've probably noticed about Fantasy Cosmetica is that they include, I would say, primarily mid-tone and deep mattes, which means that the mid-tone mattes actually work really well because they work as transition shades for someone of my complexion or somebody deeper than me. And then you have a deepening up shade. But the mid-tone mattes are also really great in that they can be blended out really nicely so that you can get a softer look if you are lighter than my complexion. Okay, and we're down to the last palette. This is actually the newest release from the brand, the Warlock palette. This is another pigment palette. Really, really beautiful again. And I love the sort of fantasy theme, how they carry it through. Like the brand is such a cohesive brand, you guys. I absolutely love it. And this is the Warlock palette. Really cute and very different. And this green is perfection. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and dive into the swatches. I just had to show you guys that. <laughs> but let's swatch these three. 
come on. It's like insane. So that first green shade is actually called Ritual. Y'all. Um, so that's Ritual. Let's keep going. We have Pact. It's gonna look a little chaotic. And Arcanum. I mean, there's just no words. We have the next three shades. Patron. Like that was a pink shimmer, you guys. You see how that turned? Power. And profane. Just the punch of those pressed pigments. And then we have our last three shades. Eldritch. Ooh, that's so pretty. Offering. And Occult. That is stunning. So there you have it. This is the Fighter palette and this is the Warlock palette. Which, this green, this green gets me every time and quite frankly I love everything about this. So here we have it guys. This is the Fantasy Cosmetica catalog. I'm just gonna run through it again so you guys can see it for the last time. We have the Sorcerer palette, the Bod palette, Druid palette, which is a maze balls. We have Fighter palette, Warlock palette, and the Rogue palette. Okay, so I, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this is gonna be a good resource for you guys as you think about shopping the Fantasy Cosmetica sale. There are a number of bundles that will be available during the Black Friday sale. So if you're interested in picking up more than one palette, I definitely recommend you check out the bundles because in addition to the bundles being discounted, there will be an additional discount on top of the bundle as well as you can stack affiliate codes. Uh, before we get into the details of the Black Friday sale, I do wanna just quickly let you guys know my top recommendations. I personally think the Fighter palette is perfection. If you are somebody that likes neutral eyeshadows, definitely go for the Fighter palette. Honestly, even if you don't like neutrals, this is like neutrals for everybody. Color lovers and non-color lovers alike. Definitely the Fighter palette is one of my favorites. The Druid is really what got it started for me and I still think it's one of the best in their catalog. Definitely recommend checking out the Druid palette because it's just that good. Bod is if you are really into those warm tones, which I get it, it's summertime, I mean, sorry, it's winter time, it might not be your cup of tea yet, but Bod is definitely one of those that has those orange shades that I absolutely adore. Um, and Rogue, if you are somebody like that likes the blue tones, definitely Rogue. And I know I'm just telling you guys all of them, but I think those might be my favorites. I think, yeah. Warlock has that green shade that's perfection, but I think overall, if I were to look at the palette most cohesively, it's definitely not my favorite. And neither is the Sorcerer because I think it's the least versatile of the other ones. But honestly, you can't go wrong with any of these palettes. There are no duds, there's no problems. Like, it's just so good. All right, let me tell you guys the details of the Black Friday sale. So as you're preparing to shop, you know exactly what you can get off. So the sale will actually start November 19th. And what the brand has said is that Affiliate codes will stack on top of the Black Friday discount. There is a dis different, different, <laughs> there's a different discount for each product category. And the brand has a pretty significant co co catalog of different product types. So for eyeshadow palettes, it will be 22% off, but with the affiliate code, you'll get an additional 10% off. That works out to about 30% off for your purchase. 
you can purchase single eyeshadows because for all of the palettes that I showed you guys here, they come as singles. So if you looked at one of these palettes and you were like, I like that specific shade, for example, if all you wanted was this green shade from Warlock, you could buy just a single eyeshadow alone. So these single shadows are going to be 30% off plus with the affiliate code, which lots of 35-38% off on top of that. In total, sorry I should say. Fragrances, you guys know, if it's one thing you're going to buy, get a fragrance. And that's just me really, really recommending you check out the fragrances. The perfumes are going to be 25% off. Plus, again, you can stack the affiliate code. If you do get a 30 milliliter bottle of perfume, however, you're going to get 30% off plus the affiliate code. Because the perfumes do come in a couple different sizes. You have the 30 milliliter bottle and then the 10 milliliter either spray or roll on. So... If you want to get the big one, you're going to get 30% off plus the extra 10. If you want to get the other sizes, it's 25% off plus the extra 10. Lip oils. This was something that came out as a part of the Warlock collection. Lip oils are going to be 25% off plus you get the extra 10. Bundles. Like I said, the brand has a number of bundles, whether it be the multiple palettes bundled together or because each palette has an accompanying fragrance you can get the palette fragrance bundle there are just so much bundles to go through make sure you check the website just in case you were planning to pick up multiple things because it's going to be cheaper for you to get a bundle than it is for you to get these things individually the bundles are going to range between 25 to 30 percent off when it comes to the discount plus again you have that 10 percent affiliate coupon code that you can stack on top of it and finally, they have a new collection launching. It's their Lost Library collection. There will be a video up before this one previewing the Lost Library collection. I will link that down below. But for your, just to like summarize, they have some new eyeshadow singles coming out with a small magnetic palette. There are lipsticks that are part of this Lost Library collection, as well as candles. Yes, candles and a Lost Library fragrance. The Lost Library collection will go live the same day as the Black Friday sale, um, but all of the products there are going to be only 8% off, <coughs> excuse me, plus you get the additional 10% off with the affiliate code. That works out to be about 15% off in total, so you, you're not going to get as large of a discount compared to the other products in the lineup, which... Uh, makes total sense. One thing you should know note about the Lost Library collection though is that it is not permanent. Aside from the lipsticks, those singles and the candles and the fragrance are not permanent. So they are limited edition. They will go away once they're sold out. So if you really want them, this might be a good time to get them. If you were wondering, <laughs> my affiliate code with the brand is Jamila. And yes, it is affiliated. And what that means is that I get a commission every time you guys shop. I get a small kickback um, based on your purchase. You don't have to do it if you're not comfortable. There are a number of other creators out there that have affiliate codes as well. If you want to support them, do that. It's a great way to support creators because it just goes back into the channel anyway. Um, but I will have all of my information in the description box down below if you were planning to shop. But that's it for me, guys. I'm sorry this took so long for me to get this swatch video to you, and I'm so happy that I did it. Like I said, a rankings video will be coming in December when I will rank all of the products. But for now, I hope you enjoyed seeing me swatch all of these babies. Um, and happy shopping. Uh, if Again, if you are interested in hearing more of my thoughts about these palettes, send me a DM on Instagram. I'm much more responsive over there. And I can let you know what I think about either of these. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you so much more than you know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on your way out. And as always, have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.